What do Davy Crockett, the Alamo, and the University of Tennessee have in common? Find out on this episode of Mascots and Monikers. Volunteers to Arms. Major General of the Tennessee State Militia, Andrew Jackson, opened his division orders on March 7, 1812 with this statement, calling on the citizens of Tennessee to defend their new nation and protect their freedoms following President James Madison's declaration of war. Needing all the strength they could muster for another face-off with still one of the world's greatest military powers in Great Britain, Madison called upon the state militia to supplement the regular United States Army of which there was less than 12,000 men. Andrew Jackson in Tennessee would be needed to help defend the lower country, as the majority of the army would be occupied fighting in the north. Following Jackson's stirring words to the men of his state, thousands rose to the challenge, volunteering to leave the hills and valleys of Tennessee and join Jackson in the fight against British and Native American forces. These volunteers served a pivotal role in the years to come, most notably at the famed Battle of New Orleans, where Jackson, now Major General of the United States Army, secured a stunning victory over the British forces, who outnumbered his more than two to one, further validating the new nation's independence and establishing it as an up-and-coming world power. Jackson's exploits made him a national hero and propelled him to the nation's highest office, sworn in as the seventh president of the United States of America in 1829. GTT, gone to Texas became a popular site on the front doors of many Tennessee homes in the 1830s as thousands of Tennesseans traveled to Mexico's Texas region, largely populated by United States immigrants, to help the Texans in their revolution against the Mexican government and President General Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana. Tennessee folk hero, politician, and frontiersman Davy Crockett was one of these men. In an effort to retake Texas, Santa Ana's army advanced on the Alamo mission in 1836. Following a 13-day siege, the small group of defenders, including Tennessee's Davy Crockett, all perished. However, the people of Tennessee would never forget Crockett, nor what transpired that fateful day at the Alamo. Roughly a decade later, tensions between Mexico and the United States spiraled into the Mexican-American War after the United States annexed the Independent Republic of Texas in 1845. With a standing army of only 8,000 men, President and Tennessee native James Polk called upon the states to raise roughly 2,600 men each to supplement the United States Army in the fight against Mexico. Tennessee once again went above and beyond the call of duty, and within a week's time, more than 30,000 Tennesseans responded to the call to arms, volunteering to fight for their nation. These men would go on to help win the war, thus declaring the outright sovereignty of the state of Texas. It is from these two pivotal moments in American history that Tennessee, the 16th state to join the Union on June 1, 1796, received its iconic nickname, the Volunteer State. The University of Tennessee was established in the great Appalachian Valley city of Knoxville on September 10, 1794, two years before Tennessee received statehood. Nearly a century later, in 1891, the University of Tennessee fielded its first football team. However, it wasn't until a game against Georgia Tech in 1902 that the Atlanta Constitution became the first to apply the state's name to the school, referring to the team as the Volunteers. The Knoxville Journal and Tribune soon began using this nickname to describe all of the university's athletic teams, and in 1905 the University of Tennessee officially adopted the Volunteers moniker, echoing the history of their proud state, a history of selfless service to one's nation in the face of danger and of unbridled courage and bravery. Through the years, the volunteer name has continued to inspire a similar selfless service and bravery that the frontiers men of the past embodied when they left the rolling hills and deep valleys of the state to serve their country. As one of the most famous Tennessee volunteers and National Football League legend Peyton Manning once put it, never take for granted what it means to be a volunteer. <laughs>